Let's take a look at how to find the part number for the curled cord that goes from the drawer unit into the back of the machine on the D135 Pro C5100 MPC6502 series machine. So I'm going to look in my 3D parts finder and I can find the tray for the curled cord that holds it when you slide the drawer out. Uh, so they call it a curl cord. If I search the entire machine for curl, I can get a couple of miscellaneous parts, but it's not exactly what I want because the curl cord is a harness. So we need to find that in the point to point. Let's see exactly what it connects to. So I'm going to take apart the machine, take apart that drawer unit cover. I'm going to take off the cover that goes over the drawer locking mechanism because there's linkage that goes to my PTR, raises it up and down. I'm going to take that linkage off. There's the shaft. So I'll just take that link off. I don't need to take the motor out. Next, I'm going to take out the registration motor. Got two screws going to the bracket just above it. Take that off. And I should have three screws going to the registration motor itself. One, two, three screws. A couple of harnesses come off. Okay, take off the motor, take off the belt, take off the pulley. Careful not to lose the E-ring. And next I'm going to take off a cover next to the transport belt. So two screws. That just comes out. Lift that little lever up. Two pins in the front of the registration unit. Move it towards the front of the machine off the back pins and then take that out. And then there's two screws on the front of the PTR unit. And that will lift out. I'm just going to put that on top of the transport bed, leave the cable connected. There's a cover that goes over my dub drawer unit board. That's what the coiled cord connects to. See the coiled cord? I'm moving it back and forth. And there's the end of the coiled cord going to connectors 290 and 291. So let's go to the point to point diagram. And uh, there's my dub drawer unit board item number 150. I can see that in the point to point that's located on page 4. So I'm going to locate that in the point to point on grid F14 as it showed in the diagram. And then I look on that board for my connectors 290 and 291. So there's my connectors. There's the part number for the harness, D136-5319. The important thing to remember is that the part number of the curled cord is that of a harness. You find the harness part numbers in the point to point. So we looked at the dub board to be sure what connector that curled cord connects to, and now we can find the part number.